What's up, sons? It's Blind Guide with Sonic Attack once again, and I finally have my Black Ops 4 mod done over here for DreamHack Atlanta, thanks to Antec for the case and the power supply once again. We'll be out there, hopefully looking for other people with Antec products uh, next weekend, I believe it is. But the big thing here that I wanted to chit chat about was going to be actually installing a water block on the RTX 2080. This should work for the RTX 2080 Ti. Specifically, the reason I'm doing this is when I actually went to look up to see if there is anybody that's done it yet online, there really wasn't anyone that's actually gone through and shown uh, which screws to take out and all of that to get the original cooler, this one right here, off easily. And it was funny because <laughs> It, was, it made me a little nervous as I watched things like Gamers Nexus tear down and so on because they were way over complicating the process. So hopefully this will show you guys that it's not that difficult to do. So first of all, it's going to basically, you're going to basically need uh, two sets of screwdrivers and a socket. The socket's gonna be a, I believe it was a two, six or seven millimeter, I will leave uh, a link to that and that's going to be for after you get the back plate off to get the back plate off and to actually get the heat sink uh, bracket off you're going to need two screwdrivers uh, one's going to be a, a, a one a size one phillips head and then the other one actually just came out of my kit in one of those tiny turners you can pick them up from any pc store but it's going to be a significantly smaller Phillips head screwdriver. So those are the three things you're gonna need. You'll need an Allen wrench for installing the Alpha Cool block, but it does come with it in case you, of course, uh, don't have one. The best part is for me that I would say, go ahead and get some T handles. I like using the T handles for these things just cause it's a lot easier. And that's what I use in this particular case. But the first thing you're gonna need to do is take off the back plate. There's gonna be 12 screws for the basically smaller size Phillips head screwdriver. And you're gonna go around and remove all of those from the back plate. Then you're gonna go ahead and grab your number one screwdriver and remove the four screws that are holding the cooler onto the, the actual uh, chip itself. And then once all those are removed, you can remove the back plate, but you have uh, three more screws that you need to remove. I don't know if I got a good shot of it, but it's actually on the rear IO. There's three more uh, one size Phillips head screwdrivers. You're just gonna take that off. And then we didn't have to do any of the craziness that they did as far as removing all of this and such to get down underneath it. Uh, at that point, once all that's removed, you'll see underneath the cover that you have the uh, six millimeter or seven millimeter, uh, I guess, uh, nuts, well, they're bolts anyways. Basically, they're, they're bolts with a, they're bolts with threads on the uh, upside of them so that you can screw the back plate into that. So yes, you would need another back plate option. Uh, I do have the stock one just laying on top of it, but there's nothing to screw it into at this point because when you remove these, you're gonna be replacing them uh, with the, the Allen heads that come with the Alpha Cool block. So just kind of keep that in mind. Of course, I don't like running back plates. I would rather do a vertical mount GPU. Uh, personally and then just leave the back plate off for better cooling and so on but in this case we do have it just kind of laid on top with a well not secured at all but it, it still looks really clean that being said moving on from there once you have that done it's going to be adhered to of course the cooler with your thermal pads and the thermal paste that's on the die itself so to get it off, you want to be really, really careful because you don't want to just pull from the front and like put any undue stress on the board. And you don't want to just pull from the back. Uh, just go about it slowly, kind of working it back and forth until it gets ready to come off. What I would recommend when pulling it all the way off is to lift evenly on the power adapters and the, and the rear IO at the same time and then that way you're putting more even pressure across it and then it'll pop off and when you get it 
turned around, this is where we get to the cleaning. You're gonna to wanna to pull all of the thermal pads off of the uh, chip itself, off the board itself, and then use some alcohol or acetone to clean off the thermal paste on the GPU die, and then you'll be fully prepped to install the new AlphaCool block. There's some preparation in, in the manual that shows you where you need to place your thermal pads. Make sure you follow it to a T. Uh, and it does have a cutting, uh, a cutting size chart that you can use on it within the manual the alpha cool sends with it so just cut them up place them uh, as this displayed of course on the uh, instructions and then once you've done that you can put the thermal paste on i actually went ahead and opted for thermal grizzly i felt like the the thermal paste that came with the alpha cool block was already pretty stiff and it wasn't something that i was going to want to run also, because of reports of like years on with a lot of the uh, Tim or not Tim, the the liquid metal, I've decided to stop doing liquid metal pretty much exclusively on GPUs just because it's not worth it. When you actually get a water block on, you're going to notice significant decreases in temperature and because of the way the nvidia chip works kind of getting any over volts that are going to be steady or reliable over you know an extended period of time is is difficult and usually not worth it for performance reasons so just replacing it uh, with some regular thermal grease i think is going to be my recommendation here now when you go ahead and decide to install it, the easiest way to do it that I find a majority of the time is get on a table and bring, put, place the block down and then place, turn your actual GPU over, the chip over with the IO shield facing out towards the table because it's gonna hang over a little bit on the lip and then place it down and then screw it all in. Once you've actually screwed it all in with the Allen uh, screwdriver that's been provided, make sure you kind of hold it up to the light, make sure everything is sat down flat because a lot of times the biggest mistake I see is that people will install it the first time and have misplaced a thermal pad or the thermal pad got moved around and then it basically will be in an incorrect position and lift the cooler up off of the board and then you obviously won't be uh, cooling all of your components on that board as it should be cooling it. So just make sure, I usually try to hold it up towards a light, make sure there's everything looks flat and good and mounted properly. And then you're pretty much ready to go. You can plug it into your system, get your lines run, and then boot it up. I don't have performance numbers as far as cooling goes for you guys right this second on the Alpha Cool one. And I have nothing to really compare it to except for stock. I can say that during a session of running Ida64 on the GPU and running of course heaven benchmark at the same time so a full on load test to get the loop warmed up the hottest i saw the card get was about 58 c and the hottest the cpu got was 62 c and this is a 60 millimeter thick 300 by 360 millimeter tall uh, radiator this one is uh foiba yeah which is a, a cheaper company that i've been using you do need to make sure you flush it out well by the way on that foiba but you should be good there and then we have a d5 pump and we have the antec case fans uh, that come with this df500 in the front and a single exhaust now that is pretty darn good considering all of that i think at, at full load everything's stock but we are maintaining 4.7 gigahertz without any throttling on the cpu now the cpu itself is delitted 8700k but we haven't done anything uh to, we haven't enabled mce we haven't played with any voltages we've done none of that so at some point we'll go through the overclocking right now i'm not going to because i need to get it out to a show i have to drain it again right now and then once we have it all drained and packed and shipped out over there maybe we'll do a live stream of some overclocking on the system once i get it refilled up out there or we'll wait till we get back i haven't really decided quite on that portion of it i hope this uh, at least alleviates 
alleviate some of your worries about maybe putting a water block on an RTX card, it's not that difficult. Just make sure you're removing the right screws in the right order and then not expecting to just tear into this and remove this screw and this screw and this screw and this screw and getting the sticky tape off the middle so you can remove, it's not necessary. All you have to do is remove the screws on the back and pop it off. So uh, it pretty much removes just like any other FE cooler I've ever used, ever done. In fact, I had all the tools from removing them from, uh, I don't know, I probably have, yeah, like this type next, for example. You can see uh, here, the fan design is different, of course, but on the back side here, you'll see that it's pretty much the same design. You're gonna have 12 screws, Pretty, it's it's exact it's exactly the same almost I think there might be there's a couple more well no yeah pretty much exactly the same there uh, just slightly different positions but even the top of the cooler are the same exact positions the only difference is here are around the actual die itself so you know pretty simple ooh Oh, falling. All right, so that's going to wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Uh, hopefully, we'll have some more information coming for the, uh, the build here. And make sure you guys enter the Call of Duty giveaway. It's coming up here very quickly. And that's for the, the, the PC code of the game. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next Tuesday.